Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Pisces. So, Pisces, for this extremely powerful lunar eclipse full moon, some of the questions you're going to be wanting to ask yourself are what you need to let go of and to begin again and start over in regards to uh, your self-worth. Um, there's going to be money issues, too, that will be coming to the scene, and if that is something... Um, that is coming to you there you know there needs to be a complete overhaul with how you view money and how you view money in a more of a limiting way that you do that there isn't enough um, so we're gonna need you to kind of be kind of paved the way for others to follow in really just kind of you know um, opening up to that place and surrendering to spirit and just trusting that there is enough, that there is enough money, that you don't have to compete with others with what you're doing. Um, there are enough customers. There are, is enough money. There are enough people who uh, want what you're doing so that you don't have to compete with others doing what you're doing. Um, that's something, too, that should be kind of coming to the table. Um, trying to want to come to a peaceful place of not feeling like you have to compete with others or that anybody can take anything away from you because they can't. Um, like I always say, nobody is going to do it exactly like you do. And that's just something really to remember. Maybe there's thousands of people doing the same thing as you, but nobody is going to do it exactly like you. And what is most important is what you are vibrating on the inside because that is what is going to attract you and uh, attract clients to you and um, put you into a different place than others. So even if you're feeling something competitive with others and thinking that they're having more success or there are whatever that could be coming up, just kind of know that, you know, the only thing that matters is what you're vibrating. So if customers aren't coming or something like that, then it's you need to kind of keep in check of um, how you, what you think of yourself, uh, how valuable you think you are. So this is where there needs to be kind of a shifting in your thought processes of really being like, I deserve the best, you know, and I'm awesome, you know, and like I deserve for good things to happen. I've, you know, I've worked hard and... You know, I have so much to contribute. So there's something uh, needed with this uh, this full moon of letting go any kind of old value systems that don't really match up with who you are and don't really honor that you do have something spectacular to give because it's kind of like doctors, you know. There can't be too many of them. And I do know there is a lot of um, competitiveness in the spiritual arena. Uh you know, of wanting to be the best and to get out there and, um, you know, and to make, I think it's almost like the competitive thing is actually mostly just to be the best, and that's not really the, what, the way you want to be. Uh, so if you really want to, you know, feel more value about yourself, you really need to, um, oh gosh, I went blank. What was I going to say? <laughs> I overlapped two sentences and it made me lose them both. Um, oh, what you're really going to want to do is to make service your first intention. You know, really kind of put it out there that serving people is really the most important thing. And if you can have that as your first thought you are going to rise and get more attention and make bigger impacts out there in the world. It just has to be that you love doing what you're doing and that you're so stoked to get this information or creations or whatever you're working on out to the people and not have it be like, well, I want to be the best and I want attention and I want everybody to think I'm the most kick-ass person alive. And like, if you have that as your first intention, then you very well may have a little bit of success and it may, you know, get you a bit of a bit of a firecracker out there, but it's not going to be sustainable because, you know, after the 2012 shift, it has to be about helping others 
first and having total joy over um, getting what you're doing and, and getting it out into the hands of others. So do think about that. Um, this is, you know, there's two going to be something that when it's in this placement, it's always going to have something to do with your body too and honoring your body and loving your body and feeling okay with, um, with your vehicle out in the world. And it's something that people put so much attention on that they kind of, they put so much attention on that there being so many faults and you're never good enough and all this stuff. So they can't really magnetize the opportunities that would like to attract to them when you're still just thinking, I'm not good enough. No one's going to love me. Um, this is wrong about my body. I'm not, you know, all the things that we go through. I've so tried to like take them out of my space that even now it's hard for me to come up with those lines. What are those lines that we use or that are so self-defeating about our bodies and we're never good enough or pretty enough or sexy enough or thin enough or whatever, 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 garbage, you know? So if you've watched my video, uh, the main one, I'm talking about these healing calls we're going to be having and I would love for you to join and let go of some of those if you do still have some of those with your body and thinking there's something not acceptable and you're not valuable because of this and that and uh, these calls would be a great opportunity to really kind of put that outside of your body and have the guides come through and sweep it away because you're perfect just the way you are no matter what. <laughs> You know, and it, sometimes it's so hard to believe that, but it's so true. We just have like this false programming that's in our mind that has molded us and programmed us into believing this is acceptable, that's not acceptable, that's beautiful, that's not beautiful. But truly, the truth of it all is it's what is shining outside of you. And um, that's all it is, you know. So if you feel beautiful and if you feel okay... And if you feel like you are valuable, that is just going to what be what vibrates out of you. And no matter what is on the superficial or whatever, people are still just going to really feel this love and feel how awesome you are. So this is a huge, this is the, this is the time to officially like let go of everything that is holding you back. And it is a time to really focus on yourself and what do you need and what you, 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 you. So it is to be more of a selfish time of not so much, you know, thinking about, um, um, about thinking about what others think of you or anything like that. But it's like, what do you need to do to be happy? What do you need to do to value yourself more? What do you need to let go of? Um, what has been holding you back? What thought patterns? What have you been repeating? You know, because patterns, patterns, patterns is a big one with this. So um, um, that's what we're going to be working on with this full moon. And uh, there is going to be a really great opportunity to really kind of start um, and it has been going on for a little while, and it's going to continue to be um, accelerating, but really kind of putting your love nature more out there, you know, and it kind of is going to start with you shifting your values so that you really do officially, to the core, value who you are, but there's an opportunity for this really to just kind of like put you more out in the world and seen as this just really beautiful um, compassionate, um, far-sighted, positive, loving kind of being that we know you really are. And um, there's great opportunities right now to really do that with this lunar eclipse. Um, so even there can be some shifts even coming in your career life because of this. So um, everything's kind of tied in here with that and with how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself and um, you know money like I said is tied into that because a lot of people only feel happy when they have money so believe it or not the root cause could all be about money <laughs> you know once you even shift your thoughts to knowing there is enough money there is enough money it will come in when you're open to it and when you're valuing yourself more and I feel like there's something to like synchronicity based with this where you will be able to attract so much more when you do value and love your body and be okay with your body, no matter what it looks like. Um, 
that's such a hard one, you know, but this is where this, this is kind of the big key factor for you to move through this lunar eclipse and to shed off these false skins that are keeping you held back. So it's, you know, it's with your body and it's with your value system and it's with your self-worth and how awesome you really think you are um, to the core of who you are. And by really shifting and letting go of these things, there's so many more opportunities to really get you and your stuff out there in the world, to be more seen, to be more respected, to kind of go through leaps and bounds with all these dreams you've been wanting to get out into the world. So this is to be an amazing eclipse season. It's a couple months of it, you know, because we also have Mercury going retrograde two days after the eclipse on the 18th. So... That's why the main thing that's going to be happening for all of us is we're going to really be going back and seeing how we do not say the most honoring words about ourselves, about our life experience, um, you know, with kind of thinking we're not good enough and everybody else is better and doing it better. And, you know, like that's a, you know, big Pisces thing I tell you about. Do not look out at others when you are in this seedling, birthing your vision. Uh, you will tend to look out at others and think it's already being done and then they're so much better. So you will completely defeat everything you should do. Um, so we need you to focus on just organically, you know, creating whatever you're supposed to create and whatever you're supposed to provide for the world because you are in, you know, a several year period, like another decade of it, of really making a big impact in a very large uh, mass level. So just kind of understand whatever you are working on is very, 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 very important. Like beyond important. Your piece of the puzzle is so important, but it's all going to blossom in the most abundant way when you can really, really come to that place of valuing who you are and valuing what you're creating and valuing what you're working on. Um, so that's going to be the emphasis of what you're going to want to like watch as it's leaving you for this full moon because it will be those things will come up to you you know especially with the mercury going retrograde you're going to see how gosh I always put myself down about that body part or I always just don't really believe and you're some someone who's so going to be um, channeling through spirit you know you are the most connected to connecting with spirit it's you you guys are hooked up into that arena so, um, you know, it's going to be, um, it's really important that you honor that the things that are coming through you are coming in just the perfect way that they're supposed to. And maybe they feel a little different than every, how everybody else is doing it, but that's perfect. That's what is going to get you the attention. And you are, you have, there's a portal uh, leading to your future that I can see right now, and it's to make a really, really, really big impact. But we have to have you having this solid foundation of really honoring yourself because when you honor yourself, everything that branches out of you is going to have the same vibration. But if you don't really think you're that great and you're still feeling really insecure and not really competent of your gifts, then everything coming out is going to be kind of stunted and phew, and not really go where you want it to go. But we need it to go further. We need it to go much further. So we need you to start with yourself and just to ease up on yourself and to... You know, that's why I hope you can get on this healing call because we'll start with that one right away, you know, because um, we got to get that in more of a, we need your core solid. We need the, your core truth of who you are solid so that all the other influences outside of you don't even affect you because you know, you know, that you already know you're doing something big and awesome. Um, so, yeah, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about here. Yeah, it's so cool, too, because everything is, like, so pushing you to clear these wounds, clear these wounds, clear these past hurts, clear the lies that have been, um, um, that have been programmed into you that don't really, aren't really with the times and keeping up with, you know, they might have worked 20 years ago, <laughs> but they're not working now with the new energies. And there will be lots of provocation from others. So, but it's mostly going to, it's going to be provocation to open your mind and open your heart and to just, um, 
you know, almost like through, it might be provocation that feels kind of negative, but watch that the end result is that it makes you feel even more okay with the spiritual being that you are, you know, it's actually going to make you even more like, no, I'm supposed to be this way, it's almost you're going to get more clear on seeing things that feel like negatives from others and having them actually be catalyst to move you even more forward on your path to be like, that's okay that you feel that way and that you don't resonate with what I'm doing, but I know that what I'm doing is special and that's all that matters. I have to trust that. I have to trust that. This is between you and spirit. And right now, nobody else matters unless they are empowering you and supporting you. <laughs> so if they're putting you down, if they're fighting you, you have to let them go. You have to let them out of your space until they can come back and be on your vibration. Because jealousy is huge out there. Envy is huge out there. And how it comes out is that they try to make you feel like you're nothing. And that you're bad. And they'll go out of their way to like, you know, do that. But they're really just lashing from a point of hurt. Um, of them wanting what you have or wishing they were doing it or... Or just, it's something in them, you know? So maybe even if you can go to that place of understanding, it's just something in them. So it doesn't really have anything to do with you. But what we need you to do is right now is build that core strength inside that, you know, help reminds you of how awesome you are. Because that's the position we need you in right now. And, um, and yeah. So I'm going to leave it at that. I want these to be kind of quick. <laughs> because I did a 50-minute main video. Go watch that one. Um, so you have a beautiful full moon and just, you know, go to that place you know of surrendering and don't fight any of this stuff falling away because you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it and it might hurt, you think you need it, but your value system needs to be upgraded and we need you owning who you are, dear Pisces. Uh, we need you owning that you are what we all want to be, <laughs> you know, you are the one who's most connected to spirit, and the biggest thing going on in this chart is that um, letting way, letting go of the control, and really opening the way to surrendering to spirit, and then the magic that can come when you are in that surrendering space. So be our leaders, show them the way. I don't care what kind of combativeness, whatever is coming your way, don't buy into it. It's not you. It has nothing to do with you. It's all them. And you don't have to go being such an empath and thinking it's you and something's wrong with you. And, you know, too, if something does happen, I always like to, because you'll notice your energy shifts so quickly, but get out the journal and just ask a question. Oh my gosh, angels, why am I feeling like this? What just came out of me? Why am I feeling uncertain? Da, da, da. And let the words come through you through the pen. And it'll be explained to you, you know, especially when you trust in this. And if you say, I trust you, I know that you can communicate through me in this way. Tell me what is going on and just allow that stuff to come out of you. And you'll see, oh, it's not really me, it's them. But I'm trying to take it on as my own because I'm so used to being a victim because Pisces tend to create the, we fall naturally into being a victim, you know. And enough of that. <laughs> We don't need that anymore. We don't need you being a victim at all. We need you being victor, you know, victorious. So let's do this. Okay, you have a beautiful full moon. I will see you with the new moon on November 3rd. Okay, bye. <laughs> hmm.